Always wondered what kind of magic ingredients are added to weight loss pills? Today we will discuss the most popular of them. I'll make a reservation. We are only for natural diets, dot and if you are prescribed something by a doctor. Then it should be allowed for sale and use of helping drugs. Fat burning drugs are not in nature, dot it's fake. This is a simple lie. Some reduce appetite, increase tone, and make it easier to tolerate physical exertion, dot all the same, the main thing is proper nutrition for life, dot and physical activity, only so. If God has given you a penchant for fatness, then rejoice. You have healthy organs. You are a complete person. And only a small correction of nutrition, not temporary starvation, but a correction of the diet for the whole life will make you forget about this problem forever, dot and live a full life. In the description of the video, there will be a link to a full two-week course from our friends. You'll do a great job there. You will understand your way further. You will always be helped and supported. But you will regret it. Link in the video description. This way you can live eating well have a beautiful and athletic family because it's contagious it seldom happens that for example a mother does not infect a healthy lifestyle of children and dad happiness to you all we hug and kiss and don't look for easy ways through pills or drugs looking for help with losing weight the help that goes beyond the usual lifestyle changes portion control advice and exercise routines Weight loss supplements touting names like a fat burner and Thermomax can be enticing. But do they work? And even more important, in the wake of the Food and Drug Administration's recent ban on ephedra, are they safe? In this vlog, Environmental Nutrition provides a snapshot of 10 of the most popular ingredients currently in supplements for weight loss. Chittison. Made from the shells of lobsters, shrimp, and other shellfish, chittison is an indigestible fiber. It is supposed to help weight loss by binding with the fat you eat, blocking its absorption. However, studies do not support this claim. Side effects include constipation and gas. People with shellfish allergies should beware. Chromium. Most often present as chromium picolinate, it has been promoted to boost lean mass and decrease body fat. Though study findings have been inconclusive, an analysis of several studies recently concluded that supplementing with 200 to 400 micrograms of chromium picolinate could result in about a 2.5 pound weight loss per week in some people. Other studies have found a loss of body fat and an increase in muscle tissue, with no change in weight. Still, others have found no effect at all. Though some laboratory studies have raised safety issues, a large number of human studies suggest it is safe. Citrus Orantium, Bitter Orange. This herbal extract is a natural source of synephrine, a compound similar to ephedrine, and the supplement industry's current answer to the ephedra ban. But there are no published studies to show it is an effective supplement for weight loss. And like ephedra, its side effects include an increase in blood pressure. Environmental nutrition recommends avoiding it. Conjugated Linoleic Acid, CLA. Both animal and human research hint at a possible role for CLA in reducing body fat and increasing lean body mass, but it's not quite ready for prime time. None of the human studies have been long-term. CLA is currently being studied in combination with chromium picolinate. CLA is found naturally in dairy foods and beef and is generally considered safe. Garcinia Cambogia. The extract from Garcinia Cambogia fruit rind contains hydroxy citric acid HCA, which supposedly curbs food intake, weight gain, and storage of excess calories as fat. However, studies have failed to prove G. Cambogia is an effective weight loss aid. The most common side effects are upper respiratory and gastrointestinal symptoms. Guarana. Caffeine is an effective ingredient in guarana plant seeds. Guarana may have a mild appetite suppressant effect over the short term. It was often used in combination with ephedra until ephedra was banned. The potential side effects are those of caffeine overdose, insomnia, restlessness, anxiety, or panic. Hydroxymethylbutyrate HMB. HMB is a natural byproduct of the breakdown of the amino acid leucine. HMB supplements are used by bodybuilders in hopes of increasing muscle mass. 
A few small studies have suggested that HMB increases lean mass and decreases body fat when combined with weight training. However, studies with overweight and obese people are needed. Plantago psyllium. Psyllium is a water-soluble fiber from Plantago ovate seeds. Taken before a meal, it may make you feel full, causing you to eat less. While it is proved to aid constipation, that's how Metamucil works, it has not been proved as an effective weight loss aid. Pyruvate. Pyruvate formulas boast that they stimulate metabolism and reduce body fat. Pyruvate is found naturally in food and the body as a result of the breakdown of carbohydrates and protein. Some studies have shown a weight loss benefit with pyruvate supplements. But the people in the studies also exercised and cut back on calories. Moreover, the dosage used in the studies was high, requiring a handful of tablets each day. Experts say the case for pyruvate to aid weight loss is weak. Yerba mate. Brewed into a tea, bitter yerba mate is high in caffeine. Used in combination with other caffeine-containing herbs, like guarana and damiana, it was found in one study to delay stomach emptying time and aid weight loss. The study was short, 45 days, so conclusions on keeping the weight off cannot be made. And as a prologue, though all are relatively expensive and none are proved, of these top popular weight loss contenders, chromium picolinate and CLA are probably the most studied. If you've already made up your mind to go the supplement route, you might want to give them a try. Just don't expect miracles and check with your doctor first. Keep your health.